they are. I don't like reptilians. No, 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 no. But they are. But they are. They are psychopaths. So there's no point in going to these people and trying to have a reasoned argument with them or trying to persuade them and find their better nature because they're psychopaths. That's why they're there. That's why they're in that position. If they listened to reasoned argument, we wouldn't be in the mess we're in now in the world. People would have seen the obvious evidence about 9/11 and 7/7, or about vaccinations, or about anything else, and would have come to conclusions that these things are all uh, manufactured to essentially weaken humanity. Um, the very fact that hasn't happened showed that government is essentially the, the, the puppet master of the psychopaths. They rely on a lot of very stupid people. And when I say stupid, I'm using the word in the correct sense. The word stupid is related to stupor. Now these people are in, effectively in a stupor. They can be very intelligent in inverted commas on paper. Mm. You know, David Cameron's got a first to Oxford. Tony Blair went to Oxford. You know, on paper these look like extremely intelligent people, but what you realise is actually true wisdom does not come from the application of the mind. It comes from love and the application of the heart. Um, so what they've chosen are these kind of mummies boys who can't really think for themselves. Who've always had approval from the system, and because they've been approved of by that system, they can't now turn around and say, "Well, actually, the whole of that time." This system is run, being run by some very dark people who are subjugating humanity because their whole lives then become meaningless. They, they've yeah. been approved of by evil rather than good. Well, obviously, they need like uh, a lot of people in armies, though. Are you, are you talking just brainwashing then for the army soldiers? Uh, well, I think a lot of the soldiers are brainwashed. There's no doubt about it. In this day and age, there's no excuse for not getting on the internet and checking things out for yourself. If you did that, you would realise that there was no justification for those wars whatsoever. Um, so you wouldn't have joined up in the first place. And you would have made a stand. You would have gone there and said, no, I'm not doing that. I don't care what you do to me in terms of disciplining me. I am not going to go and fight an unlawful war. And that may create more problems in the short term for these people. But assure me, you in the long term spiritual game, that is a far better position to take. And of course the army and the police are key to this because the people who have guns ultimately have the power. Now, all of the army and police are sworn under oath. The oath is sworn before God. That puts you on God's law of love your neighbours as you love yourself. And that's one of the, uh, my lines of attack this year is going to be to bring across the army and the police. Because again, you, you can't have psychopaths everywhere. You've got to find the good people, the genuine men and women of conscience you can appeal to, basically. Yeah. Um, but there's no doubt about it in the world at the moment. It's not being run by governments. It's going the wrong way. The poor are subsidising the rich through usury, through interest in money. Oh, now, of course, yeah. That's an insane system. Why would anyone sign up to that? They were the ones who bankrupted the system through the mismanagement of finance in 2008. And yet they expect us, and indeed the next generation, our children, to pay taxes to support that. Now the next yeah. generation of children are going to probably write quite rightly tell us to fuck off basically, as they should. But what I'm saying is we should bring this on now. Let's not wait and let's and let them get more money and create more havoc on the planet. The time now to get out of this system is now. To you, I've got a letter you can use to get out of paying taxes and mortgages. Uh, obviously the, the people that do that in the vanguard will be the truly brave people, I say. Yeah. And and I do believe it will be a test of generations. In 25 years' time, kids are going to be saying to their parents, what did you do when people stop paying their mortgage? And then they say, well, I, I did it three years later. It's not going to look good. It's not going to look good. And that's what I'm saying to everybody. Let's put this on a very, very human level. The final battle is within. It doesn't matter what corporate loyalty you think you've got. It's wrong. It doesn't exist. It's a fiction. A corporation is a piece of paper. The British government is a piece of paper incorporated. However, this is a real land of real people who come from this country. Uh, I'm not denying patriotism. I think in these circumstances I'm appealing to the true patriots. You know, I've been on the left in my life, but I've loved this country for its creativity. And I don't like what they're doing to my country. And I think there's lots of other patriots out there. The people who are going along with this are the left. They love the internationalism. They love the corporatism. And yet, you know, I have to point out to people, it wasn't right-wing corporations who kept Tony Blair in power. It was left-wing trade unions who funded him as a war criminal. Yeah. Well, so let's not look to the left or to political groups for salvation. Yeah. The Socialist Worker Party, as far as I'm concerned, is the most controlled opposition you'll find. Greenpeace, Friends of the Earth, why are they going off chucking oil rigs when all you can do to people is say, grow hemp? And again, yeah. under, he under common law, you've got a right to grow hemp. So this is what we do. We don't go and asking for permission to do things. We do it under the common law, basically. Mm. Yeah, I think one of the problems, though, is that if you say that I'm not allied to left or right, like, I agree with you. I've, I've seen video of the Socialist Worker Party, and I, I think anyone who's very aligned to left or right is is misguided in a way because yeah because because we have to transcend that but then the problem is 
you get someone like Russell Brand who's saying, well, I don't believe in left or right, but then people will say, well, there's, you're not doing anything, there's nothing you can do. If you were Russell Brand and you're on mainstream TV, what approach would you take? Well, again, I've, I've looked at Russell Brand's stuff, I've actually contacted him through Twitter, he's never got back to me, right. but what I, what I think he's going for, really, is a spiritual revolution. This is what yeah. I'm saying. We're in yeah, a yeah, unique, yeah. unique position. The fall and rise of empires is a pattern, basically. Mm-hmm. What happens is usually there's an evil empire, the hero comes along, leads his men and throws off, throws off the yoke of the evil empire. Then sets up a new society. Over the years that will di- degrade. In my view that Jesus incarnates back into the line again, gets it back on track again. A bit like happened in Britain with Magna Carta, Declaration of Rights. But ultimately that society is degraded until it comes to a point where it, it gets so chaos it can't continue. And we're there now with the Anglo-American Zionist Empire, basically. Now, what we can do uniquely, because of things like the internet, modern communications, and so on, is make this a peaceful revolution. Mm. But a spiritual revolution in which people are no longer judged by legislation, they are judged on their duty of care to their fellow man, basically. So, all the drug laws go, the drug laws don't make any sense, Uh, we stop all the unlawful war, we stop the usury, we return people's property to them. I mean, I say to people, you don't have to pay your mortgage, they say, well, who owns my house then? You fucking own it. You live in it. Who else do you think owns it? Mm. You know, but this is the kind of level we've, 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 we're now dealing with, this supine humanity that, uh, that has been created partly through the poisoning of our air through chemtrails, through the poisoning of our water as well, particularly in London with all sorts of um, hormones and Prozac and God knows what. You know, don't touch the mm. water from the tap, basically. So th- they've done this deliberately to try and create this, this very supine humanity. Um, but actually, once you understand what's going on, you stop taking that as on your system, take a spiritual view, you are empowered. Um, so what I'm suggesting yeah. is we don't need a big corporations to change the world. They know the other side, how you co-opt an organisation, how you bring it to its needs. Mm. Uh, you avoid all those pitfalls. You don't work with big corporations, you work together with your mates. That's a very efficient unit for doing something, basically. Yeah. If you've got a few little sales like that across the country, they can start challenging the other side at its weak spots. Not its strong spots, but its weak spots. Mm. Get your MP and start challenging about the fact he swore the oath. The yeah. fact that they haven't looked at Building 7. The fact that these wars are unlawful. If he doesn't come round, try and use the common law to sack your MP. Mm. Let's start doing these things, you know? Yeah, I mean, you might be right. I'm, I'm just trying to think from the... Do you not think, though, the, the way to get to the masses is through the mainstream or not? Because... Yes, I don't think it is, no, because... You don't think so? So is Russell Brand... Sorry, is there any point in Russell Brand being on mainstream TV, then? Or is he just fighting a a losing battle? He's fighting a losing battle because he'll make all the same mistakes that I made, and that's why I part when I get together with him, because I've been through it. I've had seven chains of shit kicked at me by the Zionists for for nearly 20 years now. So you learn the the opponent's game. And that's what makes me so frustrated, is I see these political groups doing things that I know are going to be co-opted straight away that will never succeed because it's, you know, Rule 101 in the Zionist Manual of Disruption, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... You know, I'd like Russell Brand to like, talk to Russell Brand. I think we have an intelligent conversation. I can try and perhaps show him the way forward. Yeah. Now, I think the problem is probably have with my stuff. He looks at it and thinks, oh, it's you know, it's called the Third and Final Testament. Oh, it's religious, but it's not. It's spiritual. Right. Politics and religion belong in the same category. They're flip sides of the same coin. They're both ways of actually taking your divine power away by making you a member of a corporation whose rules you have to follow. Now, anybody who will tell you on this journey, the way you find out about things is through experience, not through reading about it, reading Bibles or historical books or political manifestos. You go out there and do it and see whether it works or not. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, what they've recruited into the corporate class, and they've done it deliberately through things like Common Purpose as well, is this kind of people who have this terrible mindset that they've only seen things written down. They're very academic, but don't really know how things work in practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and my thing is to move away from that and move with people who actually have experience of doing things Mm. Yeah, the left just take the piss out of the 9 11 truth movement. I take the piss out of them saying, You think you're the experts in this? You've achieved nothing in 30 years. You know, how dare yeah, you talk yeah, down yeah. to us? Yeah, yeah do, you th- do you think the gap in awareness, do you think the awareness is uh, growing though? Yeah. The awareness slowly, is always, guess, always it? growing. It's always growing and it will reach critical mass with far fewer people than you'll think. That's the point. People right, don't yeah, realise yeah. that. And that's again why it's not a mass movement. Consciousness is not changing mass movements. Consciousness changes you, change your consciousness, and then changing people around you. It snowballs out like that. See, I'd agree with a lot of what you said, but I'm, all I'm saying is that the mainstream is still where the majority get their information. And I know that 
because I, you know, I talk to people who. Are yeah, but then we don't judge everybody's information the same. It's a peculiar yeah. idea as well that everybody has. Every human being is a self-determining human being who checks facts for themselves and analyzes. No, I things. don't agree with that at all. Not at all. No, the vast majority of human beings don't do that. No, they don't. So these no. people are very easy to convert to our way when the moment right. comes. That's the point. It's not like they've got retrenched positions in these things they believe. That's what I mean. I mean they can be very easily brought round to our way.